Hello and welcome back to the Storyboard Ed channel. Today I'm going to customize a minifigure. This one here. Alright, so here's a little figure here. I'm going to put him up here. So I'm going to first make a t shirt for him using, uh, let's see, probably this, this black. Right here, this black on this marker. Let's take care of that. Never really tried to make a little figure. But this may be uh, completely lame. I've got a hundred, probably will. <laughs> okay, got the outline right now for the shirt. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a black outline. Okay. I'm going to color it in. Just right now for a rough outline. See here the outlines coming in very nicely. Gotta hold back the cover still. See it right here. Take a little while, not too long. Okay, I got a basic outline right now. I'm going to color it in just a little bit more, of course. But then I'm going to go to uh, the next thing for right now, uh, which is the blue pants. Got three markers here. One is uh, red. Well, this is black. This is the black one. This was the red one right here, if you can see the red. And this right here is the blue one, which is pretty neat. So I'm going to try to use all these as I can. Be good coloring things in, I tell you. Do it all the time. I used to have a coloring book uh, back when I was very little, and I'd always um, be coloring in um, things like uh, for Clifford, Big Red Dog. I used to have that kind of coloring book when I was a little kid. It was neat. If you want, you can uh, mess, uh, in the comments below tell me uh, what kind of coloring books you had growing up. What were they all about? Were they about like films, like popular films, like a Gone with the Wind coloring book? Or I, I, I notice now that there is um, comic coloring books. So instead of um, you know, like individual characters and stuff to just you know color in, you you get to color out your own comic book which is kind of neat. So, these pants are coming in well. They're pretty good. I like them. Quite a bit of fun it tells you. Look at these pants, they're coming in well. Huh? Ain't that neat? Right, I'm gonna try to add some music in here to make it less, less boring, I tell you. You know, I'm trying different kind of content to uh, to really interest viewers. Make them want to uh, come back to this channel because I want to offer a lot for people. Almost got the pants finished, it tells you. 
pretty close. It's looking really good. I think. I have a pain to color all these in, but at the end I'll and at the end I'll show you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of lifting it out of frame here. I'm not trying to. I'm keep forgetting that where the camera is placed sometimes, so it makes it a little bit difficult. I'm gonna to try to leave it in here as much as I can as I'm as I'm doing this video here. Let's keep lifting it too high. Right. I'm gonna see if I covered everything. Pretty close. Done. Yeah, the pants are done. Right, so uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to color in the t shirt a little bit more. That's my goal now is to get in the t shirt a little bit more. Get that finished up right now. This ink has quite a strong smell to it. Maybe it, um, something about the ink helps when you make the, this figure. Uh, the ink probably lasts longer. I, I don't know really how to describe it, but on some ink, it's easy to um, erase it. Other ink, it's permanent. This is uh, one, of, one of my favorite parts uh, of anything I, I do when it comes to um, drawing related stuff um, is coloring it in. Anytime I can color something in, that's, that's a plus. This channel I'm uh, experimenting with content, so I'm seeing if this kind of thing really works. So I'm doing this. If uh, there's an audience for... I think there's a pretty big audience. I think I've found out with uh, some other people's videos on DIY stuff. There's an audience for this kind of thing. Got a lot of more uh, DIY projects on. I'm working on. Okay, I think the shirt's pretty good and colored in here. I'm gonna show it right here. See it right here? Pretty good. The pants and the t-shirt right here. Very nice. It's running out very well so far. Um, now, with a little twist, I do not want to have this character be um, white on here. I want him to be all red. So I'm going to turn him, uh, turn him red. That's my plan. So I'm going to focus on the hand right here. And the head right here, all angles of the head. So. And um, I'm not sure about the, the feet, whether the feet will be red or not. I'm still working on that. So, work in development right now. I'll show you the end product when I get a chance. Well, at the very end, I'll show you the end product. That's my plan.
I kind of like these figures the way they're that they're made. They're, they're pretty neat. Allowing you to color on them and make them into something. Saw this in the store and I was just like, yeah, I can use this for a video. I've been doing that a lot lately, looking for something I can um, use in a video to uh, um, try to be entertaining. ink smears on my hand a bit. So it's a, it's a little bit of a challenge to completely cover this whole thing. Gosh, this is getting messy now. Then if you were to have a good view close up, I think you'd see uh, how, how messy it's getting a little bit right now, the mixing the red and the and the other colors together here. A bit, a little bit much. I started this video, uh, the opening was filmed uh, about four hours earlier. I had to go off to work. And then I came back and uh, started this video. So. so with this editing and stuff, um, and then since I'm wearing the same clothes, it's probably not really that noticeable. Looking through here, some other areas I can cover. This hand, covering the hands now. You can look, both red. It's going to be the character's skin color. Red. Okay, now I'm moving to the head. I think I got the hands pretty good and covered. Now I'm looking at. And got as good cover as I can get. Because it's tough to get in there with this marker and get all of it. I got most of it. Alright, now move to the head. I'm going to color in the top of the head. Nice cube shaped head right here. Like I said before, the ink has a uh, distinctive smell to it. I'm trying to go a little bit faster so I can show. Try to get it all colored in as quick as I can. It's my logic. And hopefully the ink, all this ink stuff will, will be able to cover the whole head, hopefully. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I got enough ink for that. Because it takes a lot to, to do the hands.
getting that camera. Camera placement. It's coming together now. Coming together. Got all the angles covered. Let's see I'm gonna allow the feet to try to hold it in when doing this. That kind of reminds me of like. Um, Charlie Brown's, I don't know why. It reminds me of that. Like if I were to uh, design one that like had a Charlie Brown look to it, that'd be Yeah, that'd be interesting. I got some more uh, upcoming cool uh, vlogs coming out which will uh they'll be long ones. I'm planning on going to a baseball game soon, documenting that. Um a couple more maybe uh, museum things, a couple more of those. I got a lot of projects I'm really trying to focus on. I want to make a few films, short films and long length for festivals because um, I enjoy writing stuff. And it's one of the things I do with my free time, I enjoy writing. Sometimes somebody will tell me, um, hey could you uh, write this out for me? And I, I write something out and then try to help them film it. Sometimes. Almost got the head covered. Almost. Pretty close. So I got maybe one and a quarter ends. That's how I measure one and a quarter. the figure so far it is coming together nice. A little figure. Almost there. One thing I find interesting is just how quickly time passes, I can tell you. This morning I tried to start out this video around 10 o'clock. Um, and then um, now it is 3.43, a little bit later in the day. Okay, the head is almost done. Very close. See right under here. You can see that's one I'm trying to cover right in through here. Through here through this head I'm trying to color it in too.
this is it for right now. This is what I've got. I'm going to see what I can do about the feet. Um, maybe first I'm going to add like a, a face here. That'd be neat. Add a little face. Um, hopefully that goes well. Blending inks right now. Everything so sticky. So cheesy, this drawing I'm putting on for the face. Eyebrows right here. Ah, jeez. It's a mess. This, this whole thing's a mess. <laughs> my hands are getting covered too. You can even see my hand right now. Got all this ink on it. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna put some ears here too. The corner. So cheesy. Alright. <laughs> so cheesy. Gonna try to add shoelaces down here, right for his feet. Fun time doing this. Oh, man. Kind of neat designing your own action figure thing. Unfortunately, I'm not going to cover this end right here because I feel like if I set it right, right on uh, this table, it's going to just ink the table, and I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm sorry, it's hard for you to see it. Uh, this is the figure right now. Very close to done. It's a fun experience just doing these drawing things. These drawing videos. Like to be creative in any kind of way I can. I'm necessarily calling this work masterpiece, I tell you that much. Cutting the backs too. Okay, uh, so my plan yeah. is to let this figure here dry and then um, 
you gotta give it maybe a couple hours and I'm gonna clean up my hands and uh, come back to it after a few hours have passed and uh, show you my final product up close. So some time has passed and um, yeah, let me show you my uh, figure. That's what it looks like, a little cheesy. I got the ears on the side right here. I couldn't do anything underneath the shoes, but colored in the outfit. It's cheesy, yes, but that was something neat to do. Hey Jules, what do you think? I think it sucks. Thank you for watching this video. Um, I really appreciate it. And if you can hit that subscribe button to um, be up noted, uh, updated on when uh, another video comes out. I enjoy making these videos. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video for what it's worth. Have a great day. Goodbye.